I know that you've been working together for like uh, 10 years with Catfish at Sundance. How did you establish that collaboration and how did you, do you keep it? Because it's sometimes difficult, I guess. We, we've been best friends for about 10 something years, mm -hmm. working together for eight years. Uh, Catfish was our first film and we're practically married. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, uh, um, so I feel like we, we talk a lot, we experience a lot, we re, you know, share articles, and we're always thinking of ways to, I guess, express and digest what's going on in the world. This film is super relevant. I saw it the other day and I thought, oh my God, it's like the only film that, oh, not the only, but the best film about the topic. I've never seen one like that. Cool. And, but at the same time, I feel, felt thrilled, scared, disgusted, and I had a great time. Wow. So you guys did a great job because Thank you. I'm not that generation. I'm not that. You're old. not? No. <laughs> no, but I don't understand. I Twitter and I do. So do you think social media is really changing life as we know it? Yes. I think it's changing the way we're relating to each other. I think it's changing the way we behave. I think it's changing the boundaries of what we'll do. Um, and I don't think it's bad necessarily. I just think that, you know, you need to. We need to be going into this new uh, the era with our eyes open about what we're doing and how we're changing. I think that there, there's a, a point of danger too when when you forget that we live in this re real world, like we can feel and touch, and then, like when I go into social net uh, networks, I, I change. Mm -hmm. I guess these people change too, and they do daring things that they wouldn't do in this level of life. Yeah, yeah. That that's always been a topic of interest for us, starting with catfish. How far will people go to change themselves um, for the a different perception on the internet to lead a different life? And social media has continued to evolve, and it's become a question of how far will you go to entertain other people and become insta famous. What I think is a little sad is not in the, but uh, now people have sex, virtual sex. And I think that sex should be very carnal. Right, I agree. Right? And yeah. So what, can you talk about it? Because uh, the French love to talk about sex. <laughs> talk about sex. Huh? Um, yeah, I would rather have real sex than virtual sex. Me too. <laughs> Me too, yeah. But, but I would try virtual sex if it was. Uh, only when totally necessary. But uh, so this is really changing our daily life. And uh, the film, uh, th there are many scenes that uh, I felt they were very difficult to shot. Like the scene on, I think it was Park Avenue at 60 mm -hmm. miles, blindfolded. Yeah. How did you accomplish that? Considering uh, that uh, you didn't have 100 million the, like Batman versus Superman, right? That's we right. Had, or you did. No, we had three, three nights. Three nights to shoot that. Oh, yeah. And we closed off the street in sections, so three or four blocks at a time and we just rolled up Park Avenue. And we had a great, we had an amazing team, amazing producer and for assistant director. How difficult is it to make films that are independent in a way and different uh, in a world that is dominated by big corporations like Fox, 20th Century, uh, Warners and all that, and they produce blockbusters mainly only? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this size film is sort of more unique now because it's not as big as Hunger Games, but it's not a totally small independent film. And it's based on a book, but not that popular of a book. So it was our job to make it feel really big and exciting uh, and more expensive than it really was. 